Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole situation with the green haired man. As you guys all know, the other day I posted this video on my fan page and I was like, I gotta check out this video. I see the newest 2015 Antoine Dobson. His name is Courtney Barnes and he is a trip. His interview went viral. I don't know what, he is a trip. His interview went straight up viral. I want you guys to go ahead and check out his original interview. This shit is funny as hell. Check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. Okay, well, I'm a witness here. What I seen was a horrible, tragic situation. The guy was coming down, and I guess the police was trying to do a stop point. The man said, no, not today. And they began to race behind each other like cats and dogs. The police officer got behind the man and started going so fast, his car spit out of control. Girl, he hit the pole. His head went to one side, and his body went to the other side, and this is the result. Lord be with this young man. He need a blessing. So what did you... Where were you when this happened? Well, ma'am, I was actually going to buy me a piece of um, burger from Burger King, and I just stopped right in the middle because my hunger just went away. Because when I seen that accident, girl, I just began to be nosy, and I just had to just understand that somebody was experiencing this difficulty moment that was just not... <sighs> ma'am, I just cannot bear to continue to talk because it's just Tell so... Tell me what you saw. Did the police... Well, what I seen was that the uh, police officer, the police officer was merging towards the front and the car gunned a little right and then the police officer kind of submerged and both of them interacted and it was a full twist about and the police car just twisted around like a tornado girl and the Lord just shook it up and the man just got injured and now the result is this police officer don't know if his life is going to continue to make it or he going to just tap out. What did you see the officer do? Did you see, you, you saw him? Yes, ma'am. The, the, po the police officer car fished him. That's what happened. It fished him, ma'am. When I seen that accident, girl, I just began to be nosy and I just had to just understand that somebody was experiencing this difficulty moment that was just not. <sighs> ma'am, I just cannot bear to continue to talk because it's just Tell so. Tell me what you saw. Did the police? Well, what I seen was that the uh, police officer, the police officer was merging towards the front and the car gunned a little right and then the police officer kind of submerged and both of them interacted and it was a full twist about and the police car just twisted around like a tornado girl and the Lord just shook it up and the man just got injured and now the result is this police officer don't know if his life is going to continue to make it or he going to just tap out. What did you see the officer do? Did you, see, you, yeah. you saw him? Say, yes, ma'am. The, the, they the, po the, they the police they officer ran. car fish tail. That's what happened. It fish All right, so you guys just saw his interview when he said I went to Burger King to get me a piece of a burger. Y'all, I fell the hell out. I'm like, this can't be life. He is such a mess. There's all this controversy swirling behind Courtney. Um, he was on So You Think You Can Dance uh, last season. He was on there. He was one of the contestants. And a lot of folks, including the police, are accusing him of lying about what happened at this scene. They're saying that he's over-exaggerating, that he's just making this up because he wanted to be on television and everything else. And then on top of that, they're also saying that he's being under investigation for shoplifting. And the news media went there to go confront him at the police station. And I want you guys to check out this new interview and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. The police arrested the man at the center of a Jackson viral video. He spoke exclusively to 16 WABT's Ali Ware right before he turned himself in. 16 WABT interviewed this witness at an officer involved car crash Monday. And the police car just twisted around like a tornado girl. But because of inconsistencies and what seemed a little over the top, our editors never aired the clip, but after another TV station did, Courtney Barnes' interview you went viral. Well, Ma'am, I was actually going to buy me a piece of um, burger from Burger King. The star of this viral video being accused by the owner of this Fondren store of stealing. After he saw the clip, the owner of Swellow Phonics told us he thinks the man stealing on this surveillance picture looks a lot like Barnes. I'll show you this picture. Okay. Is that you? Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to plead the fifth because I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is? I don't know who that is. The Jackson Police Department says they do have a misdemeanor theft warrant for Barnes. Thursday, after we questioned Barnes, Richmond police say he turned himself in for a contempt of court warrant. Have you ever stolen anything at all? Oh, well, honey, I'm going to plead the fifth. My question is, have anybody else, have anybody else stolen anything at all? Did Eve steal the apple off the tree and deceived Adam to eat it. 
As for the story that led to Barnes being an internet sensation, 16 WABT never aired it since it was so different from other witness accounts. Now, for the people that say I wasn't being truthful about what I saw, my question to you is, were you there? Did God tell you out of heaven or through a spiritual saying? I don't think so. So my question to you is, how do you know it's true? Oh, it's true. For now, he's facing theft charges in at least two cities. In Jackson, Alleyware, 16, WAPT News. Again, Ridgeland Police say Barnes turned himself in on two contempt charges relating to unpaid traffic tickets. Jackson Police arrested him on misdemeanor shoplifting charges. No word when Barnes will make his first court. You guys just watched that new interview, and this guy is a mess. He has a personality out this world. When he said, did Eve steal an apple from the tree? I fell the hell out. This guy's a straight up trip. The only thing that he needs an arrest warrant for is for them crazy looking ass eyebrows. His eyebrows are definitely not on fleek. How you doing? Okay. That's the only thing that he needs an arrest warrant for. But my thing is this. Why is the news media bringing up his criminal record? You know, I find it really funny that this news station is so salty because you notice they stated that we chose not to air his interview, but another station chose to air it. So it seems like they're salty and they're upset because they didn't run with this interview that's now viable. Viral. So now they're trying to find anything to basically keep this story out there. One, nobody gives a shit if he has a criminal past, if he was arrested, if he has to go to court. That's his business. People are saying that he did this for attention. He's making stuff up on the scene. Did he know that the police officer was going to crash? Did he know that a wreck was about to happen? He just so happened to be somewhere, and by coincidence, he happened to see the crash. I don't understand why the news media is feeling some type of way about what he saw when at the end of the day, he was there, and like he said, we wasn't. So this whole situation is a mess, but I know he was happy as hell when Nicki Minaj shouted his ass out on Twitter. So he's definitely getting a lot of support on social media and on Twitter, but the whole situation is a mess, and I don't agree with the news media trying to bring up his criminal past as if that has something to do with him being a witness to this as if that has something to do with him being a witness to this car accident. So anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts about this entire situation. How do you feel about what the news media had to say about him having to turn himself in and him being arrested? Do you feel like that has anything to do with anything? Or do you feel like they're just trying to throw shade at him because they missed out on a big story? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. I want to apologize for the things that's going around on the social media about me. However, like I said, nobody's perfect. Everybody make a mistake, but at the same time, I do keep God first, and I want you guys to know that everything will work out for the better, but at the same time, let the negativity continue to come, because without negativity, we cannot do positivity. Hey, YouTube. It's your girl, Lovely T, and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media.